It's game four of the NBA Finals. The Bucks have simply been on a rampage, storming through the finals, and with a commanding 3-0 lead, they now have a chance to do what very few teams have even dreamed of. Can they sweep their way to the Larry O'Brien Trophy in a game four against the Minnesota Timberwolves? The NBA postseason, coming up next. It's been a very one-sided NBA Finals. It's three games to nothing. Could we be crowning a champion tonight? And along with Grant Hill and Doris Burke, I'm Brian Anderson, joined by Ali LaForce, our reporter. Ali, it's all yours. Rudy Gobert has had his skeptics. He said, quote, no one ever thought I could be an NBA player or one of the leaders on my team. It's the story of my life and something that I embrace. The better you get, the more people talk. So I take every criticism as a compliment. Either way, you cannot let it affect you. Brian? Good stuff, Hallie. Thanks. Taking a look at Milwaukee in position to close it out tonight. Sweep the series and celebrate. But these home fans are hoping it won't be tonight. If nothing else, get one win, extend the series, and send it back on the road. Here's the starting group for the Milwaukee Bucks. Giannis and Lopez are the bigs. Holiday and Allen are at guard for him, and it's Middleton in at the three. And for Minnesota, Towns plays the four with Gobert in the middle. Nikhil Alexander-Walker out there with Jordan McLaughlin, and it's McDaniels in at the three. Tip-off goes to Minnesota. Here's Alexander Walker, Allen defending. Gobert with a screen on Allen to the inside.
Lopez with the steal. To the paint. Here's Ana Nakumpo. You know this, if you're open, you can count on Brook Lopez to find you. He uses his height to spot open teammates. Here's McLaughlin. He's covered by Holiday. Pass to Towns. The three is up. And Gobert with the stuff. He turns the offensive board into a big slam. Wow, he was so well positioned there. Credit his anticipation. Now here's Allen. Back to Anadokounmpo. Up top, Lopez. From outside, off the mark. And the Timberwolves with possession. Here's Alexander Walker. Three-pointer, no good. Now here's Anadokounmpo. Middleton outside. Outside Holiday. Pass to Lopez. And here's Allen. Three-pointer, Holiday. Offensive board. And Lopez gets it to go. Well, this team likes to see Lopez working hard on the glass. That's a part of his game he must continue to improve upon. Here's Alexander Walker. On target from range. Defensively, you have to stay connected to him on the perimeter. Holiday passes to Anacumpo. Now Holiday. Pass to Anacumpo. Towns with a rebound. Minnesota's gone one for three from beyond the arc. Beyond the arc. Rebound by Middleton. Milwaukee's gone 0 for 2 from outside. Back to Holiday. From deep. Sinks it. What range from downtown. From year to year, Holiday is a little inconsistent from three, but the defense has to respect his shot. Here's McLaughlin. Tried to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Milwaukee in the lead. Anadokounmpo, the pass to Middleton. Back to Anadokounmpo. Yep, count it. Anadokounmpo has gotten his second bucket of the game. Defense puts good pressure on Giannis inside, but he just refuses to back off and gets it to go. Back to Alexander Walker. And stolen by Holiday. Here's Allen. That one falls. Nice feed that time from Holiday. <laughs> An outstanding first quarter from the field. And first quarter, we're about three and a half minutes in. Outside McDaniels. Clock at six. Towns a screen on Middleton. The Timberwolves again can't hit. For Milwaukee, they've gone five of eight. Solid opening quarter for them. Pass to Anadokounmpo. <laughs> Milwaukee with the ball. Here's Lopez. Oh, it's blocked. It deflects off the backboard. Here's McLaughlin. He's covered by Holiday. Another miss by Minnesota. Well, the Bucks shooting an excellent 56% in this quarter. Pass to Allen. Oh, a flawless finish on the lob. Oh, incredible. Save that one. I want to watch it again. Awesome. Timeout call. Timeout. The Timberwolves. Timeout. Minnesota with the ball. Eight-point game. To end the run. Drains the triple. I love it. His love for the game couldn't be more obvious. It helps him make a positive impact out on the court. And it all 
also keeps the bench fired up. Now here's Allen. Pass to Antetokounmpo. And Antetokounmpo with the stuff. And look at Giannis using his length inside, allowing him to beat the contact and get the finish. Towns with the ball from deep three-point range. Antetokounmpo with the block. And here's Lopez. And he can't extend the lead to double digits. Let's give some credit to the defense for how they're guarding this guy right now because they're refusing to let him get comfortable. Here's McLaughlin. Pass to Alexander Walker. Lays it in without an inch of room around him. Alexander Walker's got five now. Screen by Anadokounmpo. Holiday. That one is off. So Minnesota will take it the other way. Here's McLaughlin. Towns a screen on Holiday. Pass to Towns. Now here's McDaniels. Middleton covering. Anadokounmpo grabs the board. Anadokounmpo has got rebound number five here tonight. Three-pointer is up. Middleton. The rebound by the Timberwolves. And you just can't afford to give up that kind of look very often. Here's McLaughlin. Back to Towns. Down low. Gobert passes to Towns. Misses the three. This is a quarter he'd rather forget. This guy just can't seem to get the lid off of that bucket. Here's Anadokounmpo. And the layup is good off the glass. Ten points for him. <laughs> They're really working the paint now. Here's McLaughlin. Picked by Gobert. And he's going for the lob. I would imagine it's nearly impossible to not get fired up after that play. Grant, check these guys out on the bench. Their reaction says it all. They are fired up. Lopez, the screen on McDaniels. Middleton, no good. Yeah, and the defense has really got to tighten up on him. I mean, he's just too dangerous from the three-point line. Here's McLaughlin. Pass to Alexander Walker. Nails it from beyond the arc. Now just a two-point Bucks lead. The Bucks have gotten eight of 16 attempts to fall. Wing shot on the way. A shot by Holiday. No good. Clean look from mid-range. Coach will probably want to run that play again. Outside McDaniels. Here's Gobert. And it's all tied up. Gobert's got his second bucket on the night. It's incredible to think how far Rudy Gobert has come since entering the league and his ability to finish up the cup. That is just nicely done. The Timberwolves have gone 7 of 16 so far. Poke loose. And that's out of bounds. Minnesota will retain possession. It's time to take a glance again at that superb block. Yeah, this is the elevated energy level you expect in the postseason. Chasing down blocks and making an impact. Bucks on D. Towns down low. Anadokounmpo covering. They now take the lead. And the Timberwolves lead by two. Well, just tremendous persistence from Carl Anthony Towns. Even under duress, the ability to stay focused. Now here's Holiday. Can they get it? It's a drive. And Holiday powers it home. When you finish like that, you deserve to brag. <laughs> Impressive. No question. How about that from your point guard, gentlemen? Playing big at the rim. Okay. Back to Towns. Launches it. Drills it from deep. Towns has got five points. <laughs> I just love the ball movement. Boy, they need something to go to regain some confidence. No question. Way too many empty possessions for them. Holiday passes to Middleton. Lopez, the screen. Shot clock at six. They get it back. And so far, they've had the advantage on the boards. 
Here's Alexander Walker. Give him eight points now. Inside. Shoots a fadeaway. And another basket for Minnesota. If you look at his offensive rating, Towns one of the best to ever do it. That means the jump shot is key. Middleton against McDaniel. Middleton, no good. He's lost his rhythm completely this quarter, but he's determined to stay after it. To the middle. Here's Gobert. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. It used to be a smart play to foul Rudy Gobert because he struggled from the free throw line. This guy's so much better now. And a chance for a moment to check out the scoring breakdown for the Timberwolves. Well, in today's NBA, the three-point shot is so valuable. They realize this, and that's why they're continuing to drain as many as they can. Yeah, and their assertiveness in the paint so far tonight has been impactful. They're really making it hard for the interior defense. And that one falls for Gobert. What you love about Rudy Gobert is he understands his strengths and where he can impact the game. That is primarily on the defensive end, but also as a screen setter offensively. Bobby Portis has checked in for the Bucks. So he hits one of two from the strike. The Bucks trail. Holiday with the ball. He's got five. Kupo finds Middleton. Out to the wing. Three-pointer. Holiday. Can't hit that one. The Timberwolves go the other way with it. Pass to Alexander Walker. Now here's Gobert. Back to Alexander Walker. Rebound. Milwaukee. Honor Kupo's got seven rebounds in the game. I love how they've attacked the boards here in the first quarter. Well, what he lacks in size for a typical center, he makes up for with all that athleticism. Boy, can he elevate. Gobert with it. He's covered by Holiday. Gobert with the bucket. Gobert's got seven. Getting enough shots in close to play inside out. Portis with a screen on town. Let's it go from 14. And it's on to Kumpo with the miss. Minnesota in the lead. Gobert passes to Towns. McDaniels from long range. Giannis with the rebound. Honor Kupo's got rebound number eight here already in the game. Portis the screen for three. Allen. The rebound by the Timberwolves. Gobert's got rebound number seven tonight. There's 38 seconds left to play in the first. Towns a screen on Allen. Alexander Walker with the bucket. 11 points in the game. He made the most of that opening, teaching the defense a lesson. Right side, Holiday. And he misses the shot again. Only two of seven in this one. And for the Timberwolves, they're shooting a solid 50% in the opening quarter. Portis against Towns. There's the three. And the Timberwolves hit again from deep. They've been very effective so far. A balanced attack at its best. On the offensive end, it feels like they're getting the shots they want. And defensively, they are connected and on a string. And as we conclude the first quarter, a one-sided game so far. The T-Wolves on top. They're up by 10. And we'll be back right after this. The energy is palpable in this arena. Welcome back to the NBA Finals on 2K Sports. All right, let's quickly break down the game. What we've seen so far from the Timberwolves, guys. Well, they came out with a physical presence and made rebounding a priority. I think it's why they hold the lead here early, because they're controlling the flow of the game with those second-chance opportunities. We've got Nikhil Alexander-Walker. Nas Reed out there with Carl Anthony Towns. Then it's Jalen Noel, and it's McDaniels in at small forward. So that's the lineup for Minnesota. And they're plus five on the boards after that rebound. Here's Noel. Pass to Towns. Fades. 
The shot by Alexander Walker, no good. Hard to turn down a look that good. Still, long twos are losing favor, and misses like that are the reason why. For three, Allen, rebound Minnesota. And he probably thought he was going to bury that one. Here's McDaniels. On to Kumpo with the block. A defensive player of the year winner. Onto the Kumpo affects so many shots with his length. Holiday. Oh, he drilled it. He's shooting three for eight from the floor. Such a multi-talented threat on the offensive end, and you love his confidence. Reed sets a screen. And it's in there. Alexander Walker's got 13 now. He's been a steady presence for them. Nice to have that kind of safety net at the offensive end. Now on to Kumpo. He's got 10. Pass to Allen. And it's off from three-point range. The Timberwolves have gone just one of three to begin the second quarter. McDaniels passes to Towns. And a miss there on the triple. Milwaukee has gone 0 for 2 from outside in the second quarter. The putback. I mean, the versatility of Middleton. Not just a score, also a solid passer and distributor. And we're about two minutes into the second quarter here. Noel, no good. Absolutely tenacious, guys. Stuck right on him defensively. Bothered that shot. Holiday passes to Anacupo. Outside Holiday. Anacupo outside. And it's good as he snugs it right through the net. 14 points for him. And another great assist. The offense is really clicking now. Noel, no good. The Bucks have got three of six shots to go here in the second quarter. Porta's shot is off. The Timberwolves shooting at 45% of the game so far. From 10 feet away, Reed. Great positioning on the putback. And those second chance buckets are major bonus points if you can get them. Portis the screen. The shot by Holiday, no good. Surprising to see him miss here, but they'll be happy with that shot in most possessions. On the wing, Noel. Tries to spin move. And the call will be against Bobby Portis. That's his first foul. And Minnesota calls time here. It's now an opportunity to take a break and talk about their strategy moving forward. Well, there's something that the coach doesn't like. I'm curious to see which kind of adjustment he makes here. Lopez, he's checked in for Portis. Here's McDaniels. On the wing, Alexander Walker. Just five on the clock. Here's Noel. The Timberwolves again can't hit. The Bucks trail. And just over three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. Pass to Allen. On an Akupo with it. Buckets in 12 attempts. Just consistent and pretty much automatic. Antetokounmpo may be the league's most efficient scorer inside 10 feet. On the wing, Alexander Walker. Allen defending. Here's Alexander Walker. 13 points in the game. Three good. The Bucks have gotten four of their first nine shots to go here in the second. Pass to Allen. And here's Middleton. McDaniels covering. The fader. He misses it. 0 for 5 and looking off his game right now. I'll tell you what. They've been aggressive and they've been physical. Reed sets a screen. Here's Noel. That three's off the mark. Milwaukee's gone 0 for 3 from deep to begin the second. Middleton outside. 
Hotter to Kumpo against Reed. And it goes. That makes him 9 for 13 now. And the balance Giannis has. Outstanding job taking the contact and finishing despite it. Pass to Towns. Back to Noel. Over Holiday. On an Akumpo with the block. And here's Holiday. Now Middleton. There's the triple. That one falls. Nice feed that time from Holiday. Holiday's got his fourth assist in this one. Oh boy. Looks like he was injured there. Oh man, that's tough. You just never like to see this in sports. No, obviously something that, you know, every player fears. The NBA has made player safety a priority, but injuries continue to happen. Rivers has checked in for the Timberwolves. Here's Alexander Walker. 13 points in the game. To the inside. And it goes. As the official calls the foul, count it, and he'll shoot one more at the line. Carter, he's checked in for Milwaukee. And the free throw, no good. The Bucks have gotten six of their 12 attempts to go since the end of the first. Pass to Allen. Here's Hanna de Kumpo. McDaniels covering. Kicks it out to Middleton. And another three for Milwaukee. Shut out from beyond the arc in the first quarter. He's now got two for the game. Minnesota calls timeout. Alexander Walker, Allen defending with the fadeaway. The shot by Alexander Walker, no good. Listen, offensively, they're very comfortable with him taking that shot. It's a good look under very little pressure. He just can't convert. And they take the lead. Allen's got his second bucket of the night. Man, they're having a hard time defending the triple. That's three in a row. Pass to Reed. Launches a three. Rebound, Milwaukee. He didn't make them pay for that weak defense, but they just can't rely on him to miss those kind of shots. Carter, the pass to Anacumpo. Here's Middleton. Six to shoot. Anacumpo is doubled. The three, Allen. Offensive rebound. Oh, and Reed with a block. low here's rivers and that's good his first bucket of the game well tremendous composure on the interior from the guard austin rivers he's got the frame to complete that play Anacupo finds middleton from deep this is again two for eight in this matchup minnesota in the lead pass to alexander walker outside mcdaniels Back to Alexander Walker. Now here's Towns. Off the mark there with a three. I'll tell you, it has not been this guy's best night, but the teammates have been there to pick up the slack. Love it. Middleton passes to Alonacupo. And here's Lopez from the arc. He can't get it to go. Now Minnesota takes it the other way. And here's Reed. He's got six. Pass to Towns from behind the arc. The rebound by Allen. No idea why he's attempting so many outside shots. It's not his day, and he needs to either look to drive or get it to an open teammate. A chance to get a quick injury report. 
Hey guys, the head athletic trainer for the Timberwolves let me know the status. He shared with me that it is a knee sprain, so a sense of relief that even though there's a lot of pain involved, he avoided something more serious. Obviously, this isn't at all how they pictured the start of the season. We'll have to see how this affects them moving forward. All right, Allie, thanks. Appreciate the update. Obviously, guys, you hate to see an injury like this. Yeah, just so tough. It comes with the territory of being a professional athlete. But yes, here's hoping he recovers soon. Well, we're obviously hoping for a speedy recovery because we know this about this young guy. He simply loves playing the game. Gobert's checked in for the Timberwolves. McLaughlin comes in for Rivers. The Bucks also with a sub. Connaughton's checked in. scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. Screen by Anadokounmpo. The three-pointer off the mark. Minnesota shooting just 32% here in the second. Outside Carter. Pass to Middleton. Connaughton with a screen on McDaniels. Here's Middleton. And from 16 feet away, he cans it. Middleton's gotten his third basket of the night. He came up dry offensively in the first, but looks like he's ready to turn it around. Here's Alexander Walker, covered by Connaughton. Pass to Towns. And he banks in the layup. Towns has got 12 points. They have no answer defensively inside. Offensively, it's been a struggle for him. Yeah, they need to string together some shots to have any kind of chance. Carter, good. It's a neck-and-neck -neck game here in Minneapolis. Towns on a screen. Pass to McDaniels. From downtown, Anadokounmpo grabs the board. Anadokounmpo's got 12 rebounds here tonight. Big-time effort. Now Carter takes a three. And the three-pointer goes. Carter's got his second basket of the game. These teams just feeling each other out. Yeah, I love the spirit out there. Already six lead exchanges. You can see the wide variety of ways that Carl Anthony Towns can put points on the board. There isn't an aspect of the offensive end of the floor that he doesn't do well. Here's Carter. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. It was a strong move. The shot's just a little off. First free throw is good. And the Timberwolves making a change here. Moore's checked in. And Milwaukee also making a switch. Dragic is checked in for Connaughton. And so Carter nails them both. 116 left in the first half. Here's McLaughlin, defended by Dragic. McDaniels can't hit. Milwaukee in the lead. Anacumpo, outside. Pass to Middleton. Outside Carter. And it's Middleton finishing it off. Oh, a beauty. Aggressive move by Middleton. Slamming it in to make a statement. Here's more. No good with the triple. Middleton against McDaniels. No good. Well, he saw the play coming together, but the timing was just a little off. It was a really good thought for sure, but the lob has got to be better than that. Six seconds separating the shot and game clock. Towns is screen on Dragic. Let's go with a three. The shot by Towns, no good. Anadokounmpo finds Middleton. And here's Lopez. From the arc. And oh, it baby. goes! He gets it! Wow! I love to see when those shots go in. 
Puri. Thanks very much, Ali. We'll... Thanks for joining our halftime broadcast here in Game 4, where it's been a strong start for the Milwaukee Bucks. Usually when you head to the locker room of the half, coach has something for you to improve upon. But with a complete half of basketball, I'm surprised their lead isn't bigger. Yeah, if I'm their coach, I have nothing to hop on. Seeing how things are shaking down for the Bucks. A chance for them to put away this series. What's the mindset in that locker room, big fella? Well, they need to act like an apex predator, like a mm. tiger, Rawr! like a hawk, Rawr! Rawr! like a bear, Rawr! you name it. Well, we just went on a whole safari, but Shaq is right. They'll need to smell blood in the water and have no mercy. Getting primal out here. Rawr! Rawr! Thanks for tuning in. Now it's time to head back over to Brian Anderson for the start of the third quarter. And we welcome you back to game four, folks. Thanks for joining us. It's been a clinic out there by Giannis Antetokounmpo. And just halfway through this contest, he's already registered a double-double. That takes a level of aggression and a level of focus, and he has brought it all night thus far. Taking a look at the Bucks, Middleton is the three, with Giannis playing the power forward. Drew Holiday out there with Joe Ingles, and it's Lopez in at the center position, locking down the middle. Towns a screen on Holiday. Here's McLaughlin. Pass to Gobert. And Drew Holiday gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul of the game. Here's McLaughlin. He's covered by Holiday. Towns. Nice assist and nice finish. Solid play all the way around. Towns has got 16 points. Screen by Kumpo. Holiday from long range. The rebound by the Timberwolves. Gobert's got nine rebounds in the game. Boy, he's getting it done. Towns a screen on Ingles. Here's Rivers. No good there. Good work defensively by Lopez. The Bucks have gone just one of three in the second half. Pass to Holiday. Ingles from outside. And it's Gobert with a rebound. Gobert's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. 90 seconds into the second half now. Towns finds McDaniels. From deep three-point range, the rebound by the Bucks. Oh, man, he can't get anything to fall. You can feel his frustration. He is trying to shoot his way out of it, and it might be better for him to pass the basketball at this point. I'll tell you what, I mean, it feels like Middleton can shoot from anywhere, but he's especially deadly from the corner. Pass to Towns. Here's McLaughlin. Here's Rivers. Another miss by Minnesota. Since halftime, they've missed three of their first four shots. Still trying to get their legs under them. Out left to the wing. Here's McLaughlin. Another miss by Minnesota. Not how they hoped to start this half. One for five, brick after brick. Let's start building the building. Pass to Juan de Kumpo. Now here's Middleton. Defense right on him. And a great assist by Ana de Kumpo. And that one goes in. Ana de Kumpo has got his fourth assist in this one. And Minnesota calls time here.
Lopez with the steal. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. Rudy Gobert picks one up. Well, you have to love the energy from Brooke Lopez. This guy has got deep inside position, and he accepts the hit like a champ. That one misses. And the Bucks making a change here. Allen's checked in. And he sinks the second. What I admire most about Brook Lopez is his willingness to adapt his game to fit whatever the system needs. This guy has been the consummate pro. Towns a screen on Holiday. Pass to Rivers. The three sends it home from three-point land. Rivers has got seven points in the game. Wow, you don't see him left alone very often. And of course, he makes good use of it. I mean, just forcing the issue, Drew gets a pair at the line. That's good from Holiday. Holiday hits them both. This is about the last guy you want to send to the stripe right now. They keep fouling him and he keeps making them. Towns, a screen on Middleton. McDaniels passes to Towns. And the Timberwolves hit again from deep. No hesitation from Carl Anthony Towns. Ball is delivered. He makes the assist look easy. Pass to Allen. Three-pointer. And the shot is good on the assist by Holiday. Give him eight points now. And talk about payback. He hits the revenge triple. Oh, you love to see the competitive fire. A little bit of pride at stake. Nice rebound. Trying to match the other team's intensity right now. Now here's Holiday. Off target with the three. He needs to look to try to drive inside and get going. That outside shot is simply not there. Now here's Lopez. Give him eight points now. To the wing on the left. Pass to Anadokounmpo. He's got another one. That's 10 for 15 now. All right, let's take a look at the energy stats. How the hustle game has been going for Milwaukee. Their defensive intensity has served them well. It kept the offense scrambling and resulted in several steals. And you also have to love the way they've gotten out and run in transition. A ton of good chances tonight simply from being willing to run the floor. Here's Lopez. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Lopez has got 10 points. Hey, they're just getting pushed around inside. Here's McLaughlin. He's covered by Holiday. McDaniels, that's good. Back-to-back -back threes, making their defense work on the perimeter a bit. Pass to Middleton. Ooh, that one makes him 7 for 14. Got a nice rhythm going here today. And just not letting up at all. I mean, you have to love this approach. You want to get the ball to the guys who make plays. One thing we've learned in the NBA, the game is never over. So you've got to continue to score, continue to build your lead. Screen by Kumpo, And here's Lopez from the arc. McDaniels with the rebound. And for the Timberwolves, they're shooting just 36% in the third. This one for three. Hits a three-pointer. McDaniels got six points in the quarter. Oh, explosive crossover. How's that for a move? Anadokounmpo outside. Minnesota with a rebound. Towns has got rebound number 10 tonight with that last one. Pass to Rivers. Towns a screen on Allen. Here's Rivers. That one's good. And it's Towns with the assist. 10 points for him. They are unconscious from outside. And so far, the defense has had no answer. Well, that's the whole point, isn't it? If you space the floor well enough, it's almost impossible for the defense to account for everyone. 
and Holiday takes this responsibility seriously. When someone is open on his squad, he gets it to them. Pass to Towns from deep. The shot, no good. Good D by Anadokounmpo. The Bucks have gotten eight of 14 attempts to go in the second half so far. Outside Holiday. Shot from 12. McDaniels with the rebound. McDaniels got five rebounds tonight. Here's McLaughlin. And Drew Holiday gets the whistle that time. That's foul number two for him. Alexander Walker, he's checked in for Rivers. Portis, he's checked in for Milwaukee. Crowder comes in for Chris Middleton. Here's McLaughlin. Pass to Towns. The three ball. Knocks down the long J. Towns has got 22. The defense is nowhere to be found guarding the three-point shot. Timeout called. Milwaukee. Here's Holiday. He's got nine. Go bear with it. Guarded now by Holiday. Pass to Towns. Knocked away. Crowder against McDaniels. Crowder pass to Holiday. Looking to get back on track. And count that. Two points and a chance for one more at the line. <laughs> They're just taking what the defense gives them. And right now, that's the interior. Rivers has checked in for the Timberwolves. You know, one thing you got to love about Drew Holiday is he's a true two-way player in this league. He puts in a lot of work to make a big impact on both sides of the floor. Pass to Towns. Here's Rivers. Towns, a screen on Holiday. Rivers, shot is off. And it's amazing. Their slim advantage on the board seems a lot larger than it is. And Holiday powers it home. Unbelievable. You talk about players who have transformed this league. Giannis is at the top of that list. Just a tremendous pass right there. McDaniels from long range. That's him. Coming off an assist from Towns. McDaniels got nine points here in the second half. Outside Holiday. Pass to Allen. Three-pointer. Gets the three to fall. And the Bucks lead by 13. Man, this is just fun. These teams are trading threes back and forth. Well, that three-point shot just gives you so much room to operate on the offensive end. Here's Alexander Walker. Allen defending. Just four to shoot. The shot by Alexander Walker, no good. Probably not the shot they had in mind. But you can't fault him. He had a clean look. Anadokounmpo, the pass to Holiday. Screen by Anadokounmpo. Pass to Portis. And the three off target. <laughs> Just terrible defense. I don't know how he missed that shot. McDaniels with it. Here's Gobert. It's McDaniels on the wing. Allen defending. From 13, McDaniels. That's good. McDaniels got 11 points in the quarter. You know, put a rough first half behind him. He's absolutely crushing it here in the second. Here's Holiday. It doesn't go for him. And it's the Timberwolves taking it the other way. Here's Rivers. He's covered by Holiday. Here's Alexander Walker. No good on the triple. 
And Milwaukee shooting about 48% from the floor. Pretty good. Portis with a screen on town. Anacupo can't connect. Timberwolves shooting the ball at 43% from the field. Inside. Nice pass. Nice catch. And a resounding dunk. And what an aggressive move to the rim. He's really trying to fire up his teammates right now. Boy, it's not hard to feel inspired after a teammate makes that kind of finish. Where was the defense? No help. You can't afford to give up these kinds of buckets. Timeout called. Milwaukee. And some changes here for the Timberwolves. Reeds checked in for Rudy Gobert. And Anderson subbed in for McDaniels. Carter, he's checked in for the Bucks. A minute 37 left in the third quarter. Let's it go from deep. Alexander Walker grabs the board. Alexander Walker's got five rebounds in the game. Towns a screen on Allen. Pass to Towns. Anderson with it. Here's Alexander Walker. He's got 13. And it's powered home by Towns. That's a message by Carl Anthony Towns. Throws it down with authority. Carter with it. Towns covering. Now Allen. The three is up. Anderson pulls it down. 50 seconds left to play in the third quarter here. Rebound. Milwaukee. Ana de Kumpo outside. Carter from outside. Good. And Anadokounmpo gets the assist. Anadokounmpo's got six assists in the game. And here's Anderson. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. On the wing, Rivers. Towns a screen on Carter. Back to Towns. And out of bounds. Milwaukee will have it. Seventeen seconds left in the third. Outside Carter. To the paint. Fires it. That one a little long. And so it's the Milwaukee Bucks ending the quarter up ten. And it's all due to their ability to own the paint. They've been dominant down low. All right, stick around. We'll be right back after this. And now we have a moment to reveal our State Farm assist of the game. <laughs> Just a selfless decision from your two guard, showing his ability to get his teammates good looks. How about the secondary playmaking you are getting? Great to have that from the shooting guard spot. Fourth quarter action is upon us. Thanks as always for joining us. The Timberwolves shooting an average of 43% from the floor. Nas Reed out there with Carl Anthony Towns. Then it's Nikhil Alexander Walker. Then there's Kyle Anderson. So that's the Timberwolves five. To the wing, right side. Shot clock at five. The Timberwolves need to get off a shot here. Here's Reed, and he drives in. A slam dunk by Reed. Well, you can see Carl Anthony Towns now is beyond just looking for his own shot. He's understanding, let me make the guys around me feel good. 
Ingles from outside. He can't hit that time. The Timberwolves go the other way with it. Towns is screen on Carter. Three-pointer off the mark. Milwaukee in the lead. One minute in now in the fourth quarter. Outside, Ingles. No good from outside. And lockdown defense against one of the best three-point shooters in the league. Anadokounmpo with the block. And so the ball out of bounds. Anadokounmpo touched it last. The Timberwolves making a switch here. Rivers is checked in. Anderson against Tingles. On the wing, Alexander Walker. Six on the shot clock. Reed to screen on Carter. Pass to Reed. Perfect pass to set up the lay-in. Their defense just falls apart once the ball goes inside. Outside, Ingles. Oh, it's stolen by Towns. Here's Rivers. Towns a screen on Carter. Here's Alexander Walker. Off target from three-point range. Milwaukee has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the fourth quarter. Oh, they get a hand on it. Portis, the pass to Alan Kumpo. I love great defense. Just quick to establish his feet, and he takes the hit. Dragic is checked in for Carter. The Timberwolves trail. Outside, Anderson. Puts it up from 12. And that one's good. Defensively, you can't afford to get stuck on the pick. You know exactly what that takes. It takes energy, it takes activity, it takes intensity. Timeout called. Milwaukee. Laughlin, he's checked in for Rivers. And Milwaukee with a change here, too. Middleton's checked in. And let's send it over to Allie LaForce. Over that last break, guys, I got a chance to hear what Mike Budenholzer said to the team. He told them to be more careful about their selections, saying, quote, don't force it at the arc. If it's not a good look, don't risk it. Move the ball, attack inside. Use your options. Appreciate the report, Allie. Here's Jogic. It's Middleton on the wing. And the Bucks miss again. The Timberwolves have got three of six shots to go in this fourth quarter. Pass to McLaughlin. From deep three-point range. It's hauled in by Portis. The Bucks have gone 0 for 3 in this fourth. Not good. Now here's Jogic. by Anadokounmpo. Dragic finds Anadokounmpo. Down low. Here's Portis. Good! And Anadokounmpo gets the assist. And the Bucks lead by six. This is when your interior D has to be on high alert. Anderson for three. 
Kept alive by Minnesota. Towns. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. They pin that one on Giannis Antetokounmpo. one falls for him. Well, Carl Anthony Towns has always had a burden on his shoulders offensively and he has the skill set to be able to handle it gracefully. Brooke Lopez is checked in for Portis. He's off on the second. The Bucks have gone one of four since the fourth quarter began. Lopez passes to Middleton. Anderson against Lopez. Shoots over Anderson. And Lopez gets it to go. I'll tell you, he's been much better in the second half. He's taking smarter shots. He's looking more comfortable. And guess what? He's in a groove. Reed to screen on Allen. Here's Alexander Walker. Sweet little floater. Boy, that's a beautiful touch on the floater. And let's remember, not everyone has that shot in their arsenal. outside. Three-pointer is up. Middleton. Minnesota with a rebound. Towns has got 15 rebounds here tonight. From deep. Milwaukee with the rebound. At one point, they led by 16. Ana Kumpo with it. The kick out to Dragic. Good! And Ana Kumpo gets the assist. Ana Kumpo has got assist number eight now on the night. Pass to Towns. Here's Alexander Walker. Now Towns. Now Reed, covered by Lopez. Three on the clock. Anderson for three. Fires in the triple. Anderson's got five points now this quarter. <laughs> That's how you up the ante. Come right back at him. And you would expect nothing less from these two. Taking pride and making plays. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Well, you step into the shot at the right time. Even if there's a contest, go ahead, Mr. Dragic. Draw that contact. down the first one. Yeah, they've really made a concerted effort to get to the line here in the second half. And some changes here for the Timberwolves. Rudy Gobert comes in for Reed. And McDaniels is subbed in for Anderson. Good on both. Goran Dragic is such a wily veteran both of NBA and international play. He's a guy that doesn't let pressure get to him. Here's McLaughlin. Pass to Towns. Fires for three. And the Timberwolves hit again from deep. That's his fifth triple of the night. Two in the first half, three in this one. Huge production. Dragic outside. Inside. Ooh, Gobert with a steal. And Goran Dragic gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul of the game. Holiday's checked in for the Bucks. Here's McLaughlin. Pass to Towns. Fires the three. And it's McLaughlin missing. Milwaukee has gone only one of four from the perimeter here in this fourth quarter. Now here's Holiday. Back to Anadokounmpo. Shot on the wing. Minnesota with a rebound. Gobert's got rebound number 12 here already in the game. Pass to McLaughlin. Downs with the ball. Let's the three fly. Rebounded by Lopez. 
Lopez has got double-digit rebounds now in the game. Holiday finds Ana de Kumpo. Now Middleton. Outside Holiday. Ana de Kumpo with it. Shot clock at six. And there's Holiday. That's good. On the assist by Ana de Kumpo. With balance and good rhythm, Holiday serves as an effective catch and shoot player. Here's McLaughlin. Pass to Towns from outside the arc. Nails it from three. Towns has got 31. He hit a couple from range in the first half, but now his confidence is through the roof. The three. The shot by Holiday, no good. The Timberwolves have gone 7 for 15 in the fourth. Rebounded by Lopez. Lopez has got the glass covered here tonight. That's 11 boards for him. Pass to Holiday. And here's Middleton. Rudy Gobert with a rebound. Well, the defense flat out awful right there, and he couldn't punish them for their mistake. Here's McLaughlin. Jacks up a three. Giannis Antetokounmpo grabs the board. What a brutal night for this guy, and it is having a ripple effect throughout the team. This is tough. Towns with the ball. Middleton covering, and so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. Well, he's got moves and counter moves inside. Wow. Towns makes the Double. defender pick his poison. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First one falls. And so Towns nails them both. He's forcing the action now. Finally getting to the charity stripe after no freebies in the first half. Three-pointer, Holiday. He buries it from three. Holiday's got 20 points. Challenging this D with the three ball. That's his second from distance this half. And he also hit one in the first half, too. Pass to Towns. And stolen by Holiday. And he's all alone. A physical guard who plays with no fear. Holiday doesn't get to the line as often as you think. First one at the line is good. No good on the second, so he hits one of two. The Timberwolves trail. Pass to McLaughlin. Towns a screen on Allen. Back to Towns. Five to shoot. The three. Rebounded by the Bucks. Allen's got five rebounds tonight. Out of finds Holiday. Releases from 15. Yep, that one goes. Holiday's got nine points in the quarter. Terrific night for Holiday so far. And I have to pin it on his energy. He's given this game all he's got. Minnesota calls timeout.
And for the Timberwolves, they're shooting right below 40% here in the fourth. Pass to Towns. Here's Alexander Walker. Ooh, once again, off the mark by Minnesota. Registering three threes in the first half. He hasn't hit one since. Holiday passes to Ananakupo. Now here's Holiday. He's guarded closely. The three, Allen. Not going to go that time. Now Minnesota takes it the other way. Towns down low. Ananakupo's there. It's stolen by Holiday. And he drops in the layup off the glass. And it's a 10 point Bucks lead. Yeah, in the paint, Holiday's agility makes him tough to contain. He just needs a little space to go to work. And stolen by Ananakupo. And there's the lob. Tipped. Gobert with it. Guarded by Ananakupo. Lopez with the steal. Floats one. It's blocked by Gobert. Nine foot nine standing reach. Rudy Gobert twice on the pipes. A remarkable defensive play. The replay showing once again the tenacity on that end. Oh, you could feel the playoff intensity in that block. He's playing some extra aggressive defense out there. And there's 138 left in the fourth quarter of this one. Just showing some tremendous authority controlling the boards. Love it. Wow, what a performance. And he's not just winning with physical ability. He's winning with anticipation. From seven feet away, he squares up and sinks it. Holiday's got 13 points now in the quarter. A crafty ball handler that knows how to get defenders off balance. Holiday gives life to his team's offensive output. Here's Alexander Walker. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. And he makes the first. He's perfect from the line this time. Here's Holiday. Grant wouldn't be a bad idea here to slow it down. Yeah, the coach is definitely looking for patience and execution. That's going to do it for this game. These teams, the entire season, what an unbelievable journey. It'll be a hoisting of the Larry O'Brien for the Bucks. And it seemed like steals ended up making the difference in this game. No question. Their ability to force mistakes and turn them into points gave them an upper hand tonight. And what a dominant showing here in these finals. They are going to coast to a title with a clean sweep. You could tell how badly they wanted to win this trophy as soon as the series got underway. And it's a testament to their work ethic and passion for the game. They wanted this championship bad, and they went out there and left no doubt in anyone's mind that they were the better team that deserved to win this series. We've come to expect big-time games from him. Just another day at the office for Giannis Antetokounmpo. Boy, his defense is what stood out to me. There was a no-fly zone around this guy all night. He contested every shot in his area and sent a few back. There's another block. A defensive stalwart so far. That's six blocks. Protecting the rim well. Love the hustle. And it just sinks it over the taller defender. That's why you have to crowd shooters on the perimeter. Today's player. And the Milwaukee Bucks have done it. They are NBA champions. They go on the road and take care of business. And now the championship is theirs. To be on the road, to silence the crowd, winning a championship with all of it on the line. What an incredible performance. Hats off to this team. An incredible moment. You can see it in their faces. Forever known as NBA champions. And you can bet back home the celebration has started. Time now to send it to Adam Silver, the commissioner of the NBA, for the trophy presentation. Time now for the trophy ceremony. 
NBA Commissioner Adam Silver ready One to present the Larry O'Brien Trophy to the, the champion. champion. Congratulations to the whole organization and of course this incredible team. This Larry O'Brien Trophy and I believe this suitcase are yours. You're Bill Russell, Finals MVP. When his team needed him most, he delivers with an MVP performance. Time and time again, he stepped up, understanding what's at stake. Impressive. Thanks for being a part of it with us all season long. It's the NBA on 2K Sports.